OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to create serial numbers. We'll look at creating simple numeric serial numbers, but also how to create alphanumeric serial numbers. We'll look at how to create serial numbers against an existing list and also on a blank worksheet. So let's start off with a blank worksheet. Now, if the list is very small, all you need to do is type in your first number, hold down control on your keyboard and drag that green square down the column and that will create the serial numbers for you. Now that's not such a good method if you want lots of serial numbers. So we wanted 100 serial numbers. Dragging the green square down 100 rows is not that easy to achieve. So there's a much better way. What you do is you select the first serial number. So you have to enter that first serial number in a cell. Then on the Home tab of your ribbon, you go over to the Editing group and then you go to this button here called Fill, and then you're going to select Series in the menu. Now we want a series in a column, so you select Columns there. The step value is going to be whatever you want it to be, but I want to increment by 1 in my list, and then you type in your stop value here, so that would be 100 for me. Click on OK, and it creates that list of serial numbers for me. So what if you want alphanumeric serial numbers? Let's start off with our first one, employee one. Now, again, I can use the fill handle to drag down, but this time I don't need to use control when I'm dragging. And you'll see that it will automatically increment the numeric part of the alphanumeric string. Now that works great. Again, if you've only got a few serial numbers, what if you've got more? Let's do the 100 again. Well, this is slightly more involved. You select the cell with your first serial number, and then you go up to this name box. Now, the name box shows the cell address of the active cell. What you're going to have to do is work out the address of the cell that's going to contain your last serial number. So if I want 100 serial numbers, then the last cell that's going to be used is cell C101. So I'll type that cell address in there and press Enter. And that takes me down to that cell address. And then I use Control Shift Up arrow key on my keyboard to select up to that first serial number. So I've now got all the cells that I want the serial numbers to appear in selected. Then on the Home tab of my ribbon, I go back to this Fill button. I go to Series. I make sure Columns is selected under Series In, and then under Type, I select Autofill. Click on OK, and it will create those serial numbers for me. Now, another way to achieve this is to use the Sequence function, which is available in Excel 365. Now, there's only one argument that we need to use here, which is rows. So how many rows of numbers do we want to create? We want 100. So if I press Enter, you can see it produces those serial numbers down to the number 100. If I wanted to produce a alphanumeric serial number using the sequence function, then what I would do is concatenate those text characters in front of the sequence function. So the text characters have to be enclosed within speech marks. And then I have to use the ampersand symbol to concatenate or join those text characters to the result of the sequence function and you can see that that works. OK, let's move on to our next scenario where we have an existing list that we want to create serial numbers for. So the easiest way here is to type in your first serial number and then to double click on that little fill handle. Now initially it will just copy the number down, but you'll see down here you get an autofill options button. And if you click on the down arrow, you can select fill series and that will increment the number down to the bottom of the list. Now, say you wanted to automatically number new employees. So I'd want a number to automatically appear there. Now, to do that, we can use the sequence function again. So sequence. So the number of rows will be the number of names that I've got from B3 down to the bottom of that column. So I can calculate that using the COUNTA function. 
So that would be from B3 down to, let's say, B5000. So that's calculating the rows for my sequence function. Then the number of columns is 1 again, and my start number is 1. I close the bracket there and press Enter. So you can see now that it is numbering each of these employees. But if I type in a new employee, it automatically numbers it in this column.